Hello everyone, my name is Linwood and I am here with a little bit of a show of video uh, from Satisfactory. Uh, so last week I saw a video by Total Eclipse which explained actually a funny thing about water and pumps in this game, mostly from that hill where he showed when, when if you place one water pump up high and a couple uh, down low you can actually fill a tank halfway down without the need for any pumps now I explored that sit uh, situation a little further here between uh, the swamp and the uh, desert over there with a water tower system so these two are water this is my water tower this is my maximum head lift for the pumps if you want to know more of that I uh, recommend seeing the video I linked below from Total Eclipse itself and I tried to make these machines here running. I've got here the copper uh, steam rolled recipe, a total of 600 water per minute uh, running. The ingots are over there, the other ones are over here. And I'm trying to make this whole system here without, well, only with one set of pumps. So that top one is being fed by a, a pump system from three water extractors down there all the way over there at the ocean. And the other one has a return. So these two are being filled by this pipe over here. And there is a return on the other side, which go both go back to the water front. Now, this one is technically the filler. This one will fill the water tanks itself. And this one will create the pressure needed to feed all these um, pipes. Or the rest of the pipes, which will be all the way over here. This will all be refineries at some point. So these two are... Transporting almost 600 units of water per minute uh, to these smelters or to these refineries without the need for any pumps. So let me just show you off um, what it looks like downstairs and explain what uh, what I'm actually doing here. So the theory was, or uh, the explanation was with Total Eclipse gave, is if you create pressure from a high point, you can actually transport water up a hill without the use for any pumps and the first thing that came into my ma mind is the way a normal um, water tower works a water tower creates a pressure a static pressure uh, up to a whole area until a certain level normally the second floor of your house and if you are if you have an a, a apartment or something which is higher you can actually see uh, a pump being in your house which actually brings the water then up to the uh, required level you can also see that uh, with the water towers which are above or on the top of a lot of buildings in for example new york which i see in a lot of movies those also create the pressure so the water can go up to that level without any issues so down there are all my water pumps uh, at the moment i'm using only two full lines of water from this system you can see there there's water moving up here and these two do not actually do anything so i uh tried first to actually have this first pipe which has the pumps in it to create a pressure for this whole system but that didn't work so i do did need the return line as well to create a pressure and that actually let me brings all this water up it's still going i did start the benchmark with the uh, awesome sink a couple of minutes ago but it does look like it is still working without any problems so let's go down and see what i actually did so you can hopefully use it as well in your base so here we go i've got here a capacity of eight pipes going up only two are hooked up to the system at the moment and these two are here but are not re really being used this one is the one which is running you can see here I've got these going to the pump. So these three will actually create a pressure. Actually, I think these five or did I disconnect them? I disconnected it. Nice. So there's no water running here, uh, which is actually quite surprising. There is some uh, water running back. Uh, this is because uh, of the manifold system in the game, which uh, says that half the water... Uh, after every split goes every other way so you can see here this is the return this one will have a little water flowing back and creating the pressure for all these pumps so these pumps can 
lift the water all the way to my base. So this works, so my water tower, which is all the way back at base, about, I think, 800 meters uh, to my south or northeast or something, is using this system. So yeah, that works. Um, I just wanted to show this off to let you know it works, because I needed to test this, because it has some really cool implications. Uh, mostly, I don't really need any pumps now. Um, over there, I have my coal generator and... You probably can't see it from here, but those use a lot of pumps to get all the water up the small hill hill there. I needed to go a head lift of three pumps, and I needed about 40 pumps to actually do that for all the lines. There are six pumps up, uh, six pump high, two wide. So those are 12 pumps per, well, 36 refineries, so that's a lot. And this whole system here, which I'm lifting a lot higher, I'm using about 10 pumps or something. There are two here, there are two more in that shaft, and there are about three more, uh, two more on the way to the refineries and two to actually make it into the tank. So that is uh, two, two, three, two. That sounds about 11. So yeah, 10. Or am I not calculating it correctly? And is it nine? Probably nine. Uh, but yeah, so this works. Um, do with it what you want. So the water tower concept, which I well put in the comments in that video, actually works. And yeah, I hope you can make a big base like that work on just, um, well, <laughs> five, five pumps or something. Just the amount of water you need to get it up. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned something and I hope... Um, to see some reactions of some cool builds you guys can do as well in the comments. Have a good day everybody. Bye bye.